Please get ready for a dictation of N. Addressed by Srimati Drupadi Murmu on her assumption of office as President of India New Delhi, 25th July 2022. Five seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Start. Namaskar. I express my heartfelt gratitude to all members of Parliament and Legislative Assemblies for electing me to the highest constitutional post of India. Your vote for me is an expression of the faith of crores of citizens of the country. I humbly greet all the fellow citizens from this sacred parliament, a symbol of the hopes, aspirations and rights of all the citizens of India. Your affection, trust and support will be my greatest strength in discharging my functions and responsibilities. The country has elected me as the president at a crucial time when we are celebrating Ajade Ka Amrit Mahotsav. A few days from today, the country will complete 75 years of its independence. It is also a coincidence that my political career started when the country was celebrating its 50th year of independence. And today, in the 75th year of independence, I have been assigned this new responsibility. It is my great privilege to be given this responsibility at such a historic time when India is engaged with full vigor in realizing its vision for the next 25 years. I also happen to be the first president of the country who was born in independent India. We have to work at a fast pace in this Amritkal to fulfill the expectations of our freedom fighters from the citizens of independent India. In these 25 years, the path to attain the goals of Amritkal will proceed on two tracks, Sabka Prayas or Sabka Kirtavya. Everyone's effort and everyone's duty. The new development journey towards the bright future of India has to be undertaken by our collective efforts, following the path of duty. We will be observing Kargil Vijay Divas tomorrow i.e. July 26th. This day is a symbol of both the bravery and restraint of the Indian Armed Forces. Today, I extend my best wishes in advance to the Armed Forces of the country 
and to all the citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, I started my journey of life from a small tribal village in Odisha in the eastern part of the country. From the background that I come from, it was like a dream for me to get elementary education. But despite many obstacles, my determination remained strong and I became the first daughter of my village to go to college. I belong to tribal society. I have got the opportunity to rise from serving as a ward councillor to becoming the President of India. This is the greatness of India, the mother of democracy. It is a tribute to the power of our democracy that a daughter born in a poor house in a remote tribal area can reach the highest constitutional position in India. That I attained the post of president is not my personal achievement, it is the achievement of every poor person in India. My election is a proof of the fact that the poor in India can have dreams and fulfill them too. And it is a matter of great satisfaction for me that those who have been deprived for centuries and those who have been denied the benefits of development, those poor, downtrodden, Backwards and T-A-V-N-B-I-L-S are seeing their reflection in me. This election of mine has blessings of the poor of the country. And it reflects the dreams and potential of crores of women and daughters of the country. This election of mine also shows the courage of today's youth of India who is ready to walk on new paths and shun the beaten tracks. Today I feel proud to lead such a progressive India. Today. I assure all fellow citizens, especially youth of India and the women of India that their interests will be paramount for me while working in this position. Ladies and gentlemen, before me is such a great legacy of the Presidency of India which has continuously strengthened the prestige of Indian democracy in the world. From the country's first President Dr. Rajendra Prasad to Sri Ram Nath Kovind Ji, Stalwarts have adorned this post. Along with this post, the country has also entrusted me with the responsibility of representing this great tradition. In the light of the constitution, I will discharge my duties with utmost sincerity. For me, 
the democratic cultural ideals of India and all the citizens will always be my source of energy. Ladies and gentlemen, our freedom struggle had prepared the roadmap for India's new journey as a nation. Our freedom struggle was a continuous stream of those struggles and sacrifices which had nurtured so many ideals and possibilities for independent India. It Pujya Babu had stopped to Swaraj, Swadeshi, Swachta and Satyagraha to show us the way for realizing Indian cultural ideals. Countless personalities like Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, Nehruji, Sardar Patel, Baba Saheb Ambedkar, Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev, Rajguru and Chandrasekhar Azad had taught us to keep national pride as paramount. Many brave women icons like Rani Lakshmi Bai, Rani Velu Nachiar, Rani Kaden Layu and Rani Chain Nama had taken to new heights the role of women power in defending and building the nation. Stop.